Hey everyone, Vince here. Today I'm going to talk to you about making money online in 2024 and what you should watch out for. So first of all, I want to talk about surveys. A lot has changed over the years since I first started doing this with surveys, everyone. Survey providers have become a lot more strict. A lot of them are going to start implementing ID verification or have already done so. And this is going to be more of a common practice as time goes on. And it's something that I absolutely cannot stand, but I do understand why they do it. If you don't know why they actually do this, it's because generally people will use a VPN to try and lie about their their location so then they can get better offers from their country or just people flat out lying about their name date of birth because if you didn't know surveys and offers are generally much better pay in certain countries than others so people try and exploit that by using vpns i've been seeing id needed for one single dollar worth of currency everyone which i absolutely hate but as i said i do understand why platforms do it another thing i want you guys to really pay attention to are offer walls this year certain offer walls will pay a lot better than other offer walls on the same website everyone so you might find the same offer on let's just say free cash and if you compare the same offer on each of the offer walls such as AH Studios compared to Offer Toro, one will be paying better than the other usually. I'm assuming this is because of competition or one offer wall takes more money than the other but I can imagine so many people out there are not comparing their offer walls which they absolutely have to do. By the way everyone this is a quick little video straight off the cuff here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please hit like if you want to see more like this where I give you guys little hints and tips and tricks because the next thing I want to talk about are the playtime reward applications such as Cash mall, cash giraffe, you guys know the drill. I've started to notice more and more the pay per level system instead of the get paid per minute system. Plus even cash outs vanishing such as PayPal options disappearing from a lot of these apps. Especially with the Just Dice applications that only leave discounts for shopping products or other products. Unless you're getting at least 100 or 150 of the credits on whatever application you're using at that time, it's probably best you avoid it altogether because more than likely you're just going to be wasting time using using that application. Generally, these playtime reward applications are a one and done type of thing where you go through all the offers once and then you have to wait for new ones to appear. Another massive thing you have to look out for is false promises online. So whether it be YouTube creators or websites or ads that you see that are promising hundreds or thousands of dollars per minute, hour or day, that is just not realistic and it never ever will be. Not in this time and age, at least in my opinion. Unless you're day trading or doing stock investments or crypto trading, that's a whole nother ball game altogether. For the people that do like completing surveys out there, I highly recommend that you only stick to surveys that are willing to pay you around a dollar minimum if possible. And try not to go for the ones that are 30 minutes by the way. I found that when I'm completing surveys, sometimes I get disqualified right at the end, which is the most frustrating thing in the world, bro. But just be careful out there. Use your common sense. Generally, any type of online money making app that I've covered, and I've covered hundreds upon hundreds, almost a thousand of them now, whether it be surveys or playtime reward apps, they generally pay between one to two dollars per hour, roughly. On the higher end, you might get five to ten dollars is apps like QMe. The ton of these offer walls actually have a huge amount of credits they'll give you, but they're extremely difficult to ever complete. Anyone out there that's ever used an app knows exactly what I'm talking about. As time goes on, you're going to be seeing so many crazy claims out there. You just have to be super careful where you dedicate your time because your time is the most precious thing on earth. If you guys are curious about what apps to actually use that will pay you, check out my top 31 paying app video I did for 2024 that was released earlier this month. I'm telling everyone there is going to be a new wave of scam apps hitting the market soon so you have to be aware. Also, your reviews on applications really do help other people. So if you have an application that you've been using in the past, such as like the Playtime application that I've personally covered that has stopped paying people, in my opinion at least, leave your review or make some noise about it so other people don't fall victim. I've noticed that some developers that used to be legit have just simply stopped paying, which I've of course talked about on my channel, or applications that used to be good are simply not good anymore. These applications are completely unregulated and can change at any time. I'll be back in a few days. Stay safe out there.